So you may have seen these before. These are fuel rods. Those little machines that you see at Disneyland, Disney World, Universal Studios, and various other places that you drop in and you get a fresh charge. Well, we'll talk about this, but did you know they make something more? I'm Brad and I'm with 626 Ohana, California. The other day I got an email from Fuel Rod as a consumer, not as a representative or anything like that, uh, about some new bundles that they had, which are car power bundles. And some things caught my eyes. And with the pricing they show of $94.99, I was wondering, hmm, is this worth it? So I took a deeper look and ordered a set. So will this end up in our travel bags? Is it a good deal or is it just garbage? Well, we're gonna find out. So also there are some tricks to saving some money on that product if you want to save some more and I'll let you know at the end. So let's go ahead and get into what exactly I ordered. I ordered what was called the Power Move Bundle with Fuel Rod Kits. This comes with the various amounts of chargers, fuel rods and different things that I thought might be really worthy of taking a look at. And actually I'm really interested. I have not looked at this yet. And also to let you know, this is not a sponsored spot. I paid with our own money on this. The fuel rod has no idea that I'm doing this review and these opinions are mine and mine alone with nobody else saying. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So they set this in the box and actually, really, this is what came in the box. It's the first time to see it. So you got this little bag that comes with it and let's take a look and see what they sent us. So really off the top, I'm looking at this bag here. Nice little pouch, okay. And let's see, what's, let's get inside to the meat here. And we'll go a little bit more over the bag a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the first bag here. This is the first thing that really caught my attention out of the listing is this is a 10,000 milliamp hour bank, power bank. And what's great about it, it has this little kickstand, but the biggest thing for me, being an iPhone 14 Pro Max owner and having several iPhones in the family, it is MagSafe compatible. So what is MagSafe compatible? It means basically you can snap it to your phone and it holds. That's nice. So let's see how to turn this on and see if there's any charge in this. So there is a little button on the side that you have these buttons down here that light up and just plop your phone to it. And just like that, I'm charging. Really, that's actually really nice. And it's not, it's heavy, but it's not too heavy. Not like the 20,000 milliamp hours batteries. And this should charge my iPhone 14 Pro Max uh, to about two and a half times. So, hey, for travel, I kind of like this. And I like the feel of it. It's nice. So on the bottom of this, as you can see, there's a USB-A and a USB-C that's also charging and also out to your phone to charge. So if you don't have a MagSafe capable phone or a Qi charger type of phone, you can use that. That's really nice. So what is the value of this? Well, I looked on Amazon and got a weird valuing, um, seen chargers similar like this from $30 all the way up to like $80 and with the, the $80 ones are like the top end Belkin MagSafe ones with the same uh, milliamp hours. And really, um, those lower tier ones, I don't really trust as much because I've actually had Brown break on me before and opened it up and the battery was different what was listed. For this, I'll put a, just an average value of about $35 on it. Okay, and so let's go into our next one. And what else is in the bag? Okay, a little clean cloth. That's kind of cool. There's an yellow pouch there. And the next thing is, this is what really caught my eye. This is a GAN charger. So what is a GAN charger? Well, it's basically a charger that can be shrinked down in size. When you're traveling, that is very important to have that smaller size of traveling. And this is actually a really good size. You look at this for size, this is my MacBook Pro charger. It's a 61 watt charger. And look at the size difference between these two. You can really see there's different heights and it has more ports. And more importantly, this will ch charge my MacBook Pro, at, uh, which takes the 61 watts. Yours may vary depending on what you have for a laptop, so always check your manufacturer uh, specifications. But the only downside when you have multiple ports on here like this does, is it does cut the charge depending on what you have plugged in. So it may not be at the only time it's at full 65 watts is if you're plugged in with one item. But really, it's really nice. And also, you got these nice little fold foldable things that makes it nice, compact. I actually really like this. So on the scan charger, uh, I looked online, you can find prices in, you know, varying from 35, 45, 55. I think again, be fair price, because I've seen them as low as $20, is to put the scan charger at about 30 bucks. So that's what we're up to now, $65. And let's go look at the next in here is, well, a nice braided cable actually, wow. I'm actually impressed with this. This actually feels like really good quality. 
And let's go ahead and open this up. And wow, that's a long cable. <laughs> and I got tangled already. <laughs> So this is it, the cable that comes in, it's convertible. So you got a USB-A on one side, pull this out, goes to USB-C. On the other side, well it has a lightning, which is important because we have iPhones. And you pull that out, and it goes to USB-C. So you got two, US, two USB-C's in, so it's convertible to A to C, A to lightning, C to lightning. So that's really cool. That's really long. I would say it's got to be about five feet, maybe. I'll put the official length right down here. So that's actually a really nice cable, and I really like that it feels like it's going to last. So we'll put this cord, you know, I've seen them from anywhere from five to $30, depending on the brand again. Um, so let's put this cord at about $15. I think that's a fair price. So that puts us up now to. $80. So, hey, we're almost to that $94. So what's going to put us over that top of that $94.99? Well, it's this. They also include two fuel rod kits. So if you want to know what a fuel rod kit is, is basically it is the fuel rod and they also have some adapters in here. And this is where kind of interesting that I found with these before is they got lightning and they're short cables, but they also got USB-B or mini micro USB, which, yeah, things are going away from it. So if you really want it, if you don't want to use micro USB, you can turn it into with this adapter to USB-C. So that's kind of the way everybody's going. But the great thing about these, these little cords is that when you plug them in, and we found this while we've been traveling at the parks, so you can plug them in and just fold them right really over and hold them in your hand and they're out of the way and you can hold your phone. Unfortunately, this is becoming a reality at the parks, especially at Disney parks, because you're using your phone so much you need to recharge them. And yeah, it's kind of one of those things that you have to do. Let's talk about the advantages of having these fuel rods. Now, yeah, we could take these chargers, the bigger charger, which truthfully, this is probably not gonna go into the parks with us. That'll probably just stay in our backpack for charging. Um, into the parks. What I love about the fuel rods is they're so convenient. I don't have to worry about charging them. I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, if we run out at finding a machine, especially Disney, they have them all over. Universal Studios has these things all over. Now the thing is the know about is Disney does not, has not started charging for the refills or for the exchanges. So you go in, drop it in the machine, do exchange, you get a fresh one that's already charged, ready to go. And I, we really like that and it makes it so much convenient even i know that these won't charge for our phones probably about halfway because they're only 2600 milliamp hours i'm not sure about how much they charge at other places i've seen prices from one to three dollars for the refills and so that's something to be aware of that th that those kiosks may have a charge for you to exchange it um but so far we usually primarily at disney because that we're using our phone so much like i said <laughs> that that's what we do and it makes it easy simple and a quick for us now the thing is is with those kiosks at disney and other places you know one of the one of these kits costs thirty dollars yikes each and we made a mistake and i really wish i saw this earlier it made a mistake of we have three fuel rods now yeah so it adds up and it was just one of those things that we completely forgot about it, how we forgot about having one and it was convenient it was there we were able to do it um, if you want to think ahead, you actually can buy two of those kits on Amazon for $34.99. You get two of them delivered to your door through Amazon, or you can go online and buy them through uh, Fuel Rod themselves, and I believe they are $39.99 or a member price of $29.99. Now, so we're going to value this at $34.99. That puts us up to a price by $125 for this. So already we're in a good deal territory. So you may be noticing me saying something about member price. But first, if you're finding this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and follow along with our Ohana. What is member price? Well, they do, Fuel Rod has what's called the Fuel Rod membership that basically gives you 25 exchanges, uh, value exchanges, and you get a special discount on, the, on their merchandise on, through their website. Now, what's interesting about this, it costs $20 for that membership. So, I did get the membership, but the reason why, it saved me about $7 uh more than what the price is online so the member price on this bundle is 66.49 so add 20 dollars to it you get the 
uh, 86 99 so it's actually cheaper than the 94 99 so it actually saved money and I have the bonus I guess if we were at other places like Universal and I'm not sure please let comment down below if you've been to Universal and they charge for fuel rods because we had actually never exchanged them at Universal but that we can get those 25 exchanges so we'll take it as a bonus and saving a little bit of money so that's a trick to know so let's go into the case and this is the last thing so we're up to what a total of $125 or so uh, this case actually I'm really impressed with actually the quality feels pretty good decent and I actually kind of like this pull hand because if it gets into your bag you can actually just kind of grab it out and the problem is I've with the the cable organizer and charger I have now it's really hard and it's really small and compact but it's hard to get out of the bag sometimes and try to get everything out I like that this isn't coming out and really for width wise I say maybe a total of an inch and a half not really not too bad for a size wise and I like all these pockets they have in it so you can throw different things in here like that and they also have these little cable organizers which truthfully I love these because it's easier to pull another cable out and unfortunately with us with one cable it's not gonna be enough I'm gonna have to take a couple of other cables with us just to make sure because you know for getting chargers and everything else then here it has a little oh this is adjustable so you can actually adjust you actually can adjust this to where you want it so if you want to keep something safe or smaller so it doesn't come out the only bad thing i did notice is when i was pulling this out is that when i did flip it open you have to be really careful because this bottom will flop out and everything just falls out that's the only bad thing i wish they had some type of netting or something over the top of this to keep everything secure when you open it but other than that I, i'm actually really impressed with the quality of this case now this case you know is you can find something similar on amazon for probably around about $12 or so so really we've beat the price of what they're selling and everything for and everything else I'm really impressed with this and actually this is my first impressions of seeing all this will this earn the spot into my bag for traveling actually I think it is uh, with the GAN charger being so small and actually having a little bit more space to put things in here are great now this will not go into our parks bag because unfortunately um, I don't want to keep some of these chargers where they can get water these will go into our parks bags and we'll use them and floor them in and out and probably also in airports because you know when you're airport you're always fighting for plugs or for uh areas to charge and you always have everybody huddle around those areas or the chargers don't work or whatever so this takes a little bit of that equation out for us i'm really impressed with this so overall yeah i'm very pleased with this purchase i have no regret regrets please let me know down below what you think of this would you buy this or were you just more interested in the fuel rods than i myself for 34.99 for the parks let us know so with that i think it's time for me to say goodbye and find your magic bye everyone <music>